and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna explain shaft currents and how to minimize them, and helping us out is a guy who has been on the show so many times, he has his own parking space. It's Dave Feld from Baldor ABB. Dave, welcome back, buddy, how are you? Hey, Tom, I'm doing well, thank you. It's great to be here. Today we're going to discuss ways to minimize potential for damaging shaft currents found in motors while being operated on variable frequency drives. All right, well give me a little background then. What are we gonna be seeing today? Sure, modern pulse width modulation inverters, also commonly known as VFDs, create a both common mode voltage and common mode currents, which in some applications can result in damaging current flow through motor bearings. This current flow, if not addressed, could even pass through a non-insulated coupling into the driven equipment. The problem is that it's hard to predict which applications will have problems and those that will not. All right, Dave, how do you want to get started? The term shaft current and bearing current are often used interchangeably. Today we'll call it bearing current since most often it is the motor bearing that shows the effect. All right, now what causes these currents then? Well, AC drives, also known as variable frequency drives, utilize high frequency pulse width modulation voltage switching techniques. At high frequencies, capacitively coupled current can flow through shaft, bearings, end shields, and frame of the motor. Now, what, what are the common paths of the current flow in the motor, Dave? Well, insulated paths include slot liners, magnet wire coating, the air gap of the motor, and even bearing grease. Wow, bearing grease. Tell me more, Dave. I'm getting excited now. Well, the very nature of PWM power and resulting common mode voltage results in bearing currents that can pass through the bearings. If the current flow or discharges through the bearings, which is very common, bearing fluting begins and premature bearing failure can result. That doesn't sound good, Dave. What have we got here? Well, Tom, this is an example of bearing fluting and what happens when that shaft current flows through those bearings. And as you can see, that on the inner side of this outer race of a motor bearing, mm -hmm. you end up with that spalling or that fluting that occurs. You can actually feel that. So the current causes it to vibrate, and that's what digs in. So what can we do then? How do we fix it? Well, providing an alternate path for the current flow mitigates the bearing current and therefore the damage. The solutions we're going to discuss provide the alternate path for the current flow. Okay, tell us the ways to minimize it. Well, the best thing we can do is to use proper grounding to protect the motor. We need high frequency, low impedance grounding provisions. Not just your typical copper ground wire, using a shielded power cable ground at both the motor and drive is a good example. Also using a grounding ribbon cable to ground between the motor to earth ground and drive to earth ground is important. That looks like a pretty thick cable over there and that's something that'll really help out. Correct. Right. Another method to do is to use an insulated bearing. Here's an example of an insulated bearing that is an inexpensive way to minimize shaft currents. Okay, you can tell it's not metal on the outside, it's ceramic, so when the current comes to it, it's gonna hit it, deflect some of it, That's right. minimizes and, and the it current. Protects, and it protects the motor bearing, correct. Okay, what else do we okay. have? Another way to do that is using a shaft grounding brush. And this is a method that you have a, utilize a carbon brush that contacts the shaft as the shaft rotates. Okay, so as it's going, it's just kind of like being pushed into it to take away some of the current. That's correct. Okay. Okay. All right. And lastly, one of the ways to do this is utilizing something such as the Aegis shaft grounding ring. This ring of brush actually mounts internally or externally to the motor and can also provide that alternative path for bearing current. Okay, now I see that attached there. That's attached to the shaft. So as the shaft is turning, the brushes, you have a brush over there, but this is also a brush all the way around the shaft, so that's gonna suck up the current as well as it comes through the that's, shaft. That's correct, Tom. Okay, but what about maintenance on something like this? Well, there's no maintenance required for the insulated bearing, and visual inspection would be recommended for the shaft grounding brush and also the Aegis ring, but both are very low wear devices. All right, so let me summarize here. Hang on, I wanna make sure I get this all right. We got motors that run on V, FD, the variable frequency drives, and they have to deal with commonly occurring shaft or bearing currents. But it's good for us because there's ways to minimize those currents. But first we have to make sure that we use the proper grounding techniques for all that. Um, we have the cable over there. We have to make sure that we use that heavy duty cable. In addition, we got three of the most common solutions. We have the insulated bearings, which we have here, the shaft grounding brushes, and then the shaft grounding ring, such as those that are available from Aegis. And if you don't address it, you get fluting over here, which is the premature failure of the motor bearings. How'd I do, Dave? That's spot on, Tom. Excellent, thank you very much, I appreciate it. That's Dave Felt, he is from Baldor ABB, and right now he's probably getting his car valet.
been here so much. But thanks again, Dave, we appreciate it. And if you have any questions whatsoever on anything we talked about today, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location and they will help you, I promise you. And uh, hopefully this will help you with your practical application. And no matter what you're doing to help minimize uh, the shaft current, uh, whether you're putting on the, the ceramic, uh, you got the grounding brush, or maybe it's the Aegis ring, make sure you're wearing the proper PPE, personal protective equipment. That's always important, whatever the job calls for, make sure you do it. And also make sure you look for other videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host from Motion Industries, the how-to selection. Yeah. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying that's just me